This is a slide that, um, uh, the genesis of the slide is from Astro Teller uh, at Google, and I think it's an absolutely brilliant slide. What Astro talks about is the adaptability of humans and what we're going through right now and the rate of acceleration of change, especially when you really sort of look at, we can look at a line in the sand right around 2008 when you can go back to iPhones, Facebook, et cetera. And then the rate of acceleration of technology. And here's what's happening. At this break point right here, this is an enormous opportunity. The rate of technology has outpaced the rate of our ability to adapt to it. And that means that there's a lot of legacy practices left on the table, especially when it comes to communications, marketing, creating a brand, and where you communicate. And right now, for what we're talking about, if you're in health tech, med tech, life sciences, your number one platform that you want to be communicating on is LinkedIn. And I don't care if you're looking for money. I don't care if you're looking for acquisition, M&A work, hiring world-class talent to join your organization. You need to be focusing all chips in on LinkedIn. This is where that arbitrage is occurring. This is where hiring our arbitrage is occurring. This is where M&A activity, all the market development biz dev has got their eyes on LinkedIn. Trust me on this. I'm engaging with them all the time. You got hiring, M&A, and you got VCs. The number of VCs that are keeping their eyes on activity on LinkedIn is probably the most robust place to live. So what does that mean? That means you've got to come up with a strategy of communication that's going to allow you to play this arbitrage in the, in, in the middle here. So I'm going to focus on hiring, but I also want you to think about focusing on the shows are gone, TCT's gone, ICI's gone, HRT's gone. All these shows over the next year are gone. That means your activity has got to shift dramatically on how you're going to engage. And that's going to be in a virtual world. And right now, a majority of people are engaging in just posting things online and creating an enormous amount of white noise. And what you want to do, and for hiring, let's stay at hiring right now, these are job postings. These are cut and paste job posting. Nobody's telling any stories around their organization, any stories around the therapy that they're bringing to the market and problem they're trying to solve. I'm not suggesting you make clinical claims on creating a brand awareness and increasing the reach of your organization, but I am suggesting that you create dramatic reach about your reputation and your branding online using storytelling strategies in order to attract talent. And again, M&A and VCs as well. The way to do business on hiring online has changed and it's not a disruption anymore. We firmly believe our firm has been executing on it for the last three and a half, four years. And evidence is showing us that we have broken away. We've actually dislocated, dislocated with the activities that I'm gonna be sharing with you over the next couple of weeks on engaging A-level players in the market who may or may not be looking, yet they're watching the stories that are going on online that revolve around the market, the product, the leadership, and the mission that these organizations are focused on. And this storytelling, this location on your brand is actually a dislocation, not a disruption. Disruption is a speed bump, a dislocation from the post and pray mentality that had been going on from here historically in hiring great talent. So there's a dislocation going on. Here's what I want you to think about when you're shopping for talent. And when I mean shopping for talent means you've got your eyes on the market. One is I want you to start super early. Don't start 60, 90 days out on that window. 
because then you're only getting the people who are available in that 60 to 90 day window for them to put their hand up and say, hey, I'm looking. And if I want you to think about creating a storyline around your company, an ongoing narrative over the next two, three, four years, PMA, maybe even longer, that people can follow your journey and then you can make them aware that six to nine months from now, you've got something coming up. Why is this important? So classically, when you're trying to develop a brand, and let's call that brand around talent today. But when I cycle through this, as an owner, founder, CEO, I also want you to think about, does the, do the physics of this process apply for me when I'm looking for money from VCs? And does the physics of this process apply when I'm potentially looking for M&A? And let me show you why. Classic distribution curve in a classic hiring. Historically, what happened was when you had a classic distribution and legacy recruiting or legacy branding around hiring, you would have your point of engagement would be a majority of your calls would fall into this classic distribution where rarely you would have an interview around A players and then rarely it would be a bomb squad around C players. It would be rare. A majority of the time your engagement fell in this area, in the B area, in the classic distribution curve. You had extremes up here and you had extremes down here. But most of the time, when you were recruiting, you had one point of influence on the engagement with that individual. Because you put a job posting out, you waited, that person responded, you had the token email out to them, you then had the token phone call, today the token Zoom call, and then here, most of the people who were applying were unemployed for the most part, or underemployed for the most part but you had one point of contact, one point of engagement on this. When you start building a brand around who you are, when you start building a brand around your startup, when you start building a brand around, again, four areas, market, your product or service, your leadership, these are your four storylines, and your company's mission. So. Don't tell me about your product. Tell me about the market that you're in and the problem you're trying to solve. Then once you establish that this is a robust market, then you can go ahead and talk to me about your product and service on how it fits into that problem or opportunity in the market. Then take me through the leadership. Who am I gonna be hanging out with every day if you wanna hire me? Because who we hang out with is who we become. And then finally, mission. I don't want to show up and tell you telling me that we make a virtual engagement VR, AR, digital scrub in for a doc. That's a product. I want to know what is it, how are you trying to change the world with your solution? So again, market, product, leadership, mission. Once you start telling these stories at scale online, your distribution curve indexes a lot more towards higher engagement with higher quality candidates. No doubt about that. I can guarantee that based upon the last five years of efforts where we've been creating content around our clients, around their stories, bringing in these four key storylines, and then the candidates and individuals who lean in that we get involved in conversations are a lot more heavily weighted towards the A-level candidates. Because they'll engage earlier, they'll ask questions, and they'll watch the story as it goes along. So this is super important for you to understand why it's important for you to de develop your brand, why it's important for you to develop the reach and reputation out in the marketplace. And this is for hiring, and run this through your head right now, for M&A and VCs. If you're able to tell these stories to the marketplace, you've got candidates watching your story, you've got VCs watching your story, and also on the M&A side, same thing with your strategics. You need to be telling the story well beyond this show here right now, online, on LinkedIn, your four key pillars, market, product, leadership, mission. I'm Joe Mullings, out.